doctor. Have you seen the report? Yes, I'm just going through it. Please, Mrs. David, you need to take nippy actions about this. Okay, thank you, doctor. You're welcome. I'm sorry. What about your husband? <sighs> Mrs. Davis, are you still there? Thank you, doctor. I have to go. Oh, my baby, welcome. How was it today? Oh, how is everything? Um, Hope you got all your assignments right. Yes. That's my baby boy. Oh, you need to go and take your bits. Okay. My teacher said next to you that I ride my that. Wow, that is another bicycle for you. So you need to work hard, okay? Yeah, yeah, let's go and take your bits so I can go. so much for him. What could she be giving him that I don't have? Hmm. What could this other woman have that is attracting him to her? That is the first thing we need to consider. That is it. Looking at it, she's a woman and a woman. She has head, I have head. She has woman structure, I have woman structure. But that thing that would have attracted her to him in the first place is what I don't know. Hmm. His mother. How does she look? He said it several that I look like her. She's a good person. And the other woman, how does she look? She's okay. Do you think she's more beautiful? Beautiful. It depends on your own perspective and definition of beauty. She snatched my husband. And here you're hesitant it's telling me okay, about. Okay, it's okay. She is not succeeded yet. Conceiving it alone is enough to paint her a beast. Not to talk of. I don't even think. I can't imagine she can do that. I don't know. Mm, okay. Before all that started, what is your assessment of her? I've met her a couple of times. She's nice and good looking. You mean she's nice? Pretty? Good looking? Presentable? Something of social. Has your husband ever told you you are beautiful? Yes. Almost every time. Before all this started. <laughs> How does your husband see beauty? David, to him, you must be very smart. I mean, smart upstairs and have good fragrance. And from your husband's standpoint, will you say this woman is more beautiful? No. I know. No, no, no. 
I know you will choose me hundred times over her. She's not even his type. She's not his type. But that thing that attracts her to him is what I told you. Hmm. Good. That means she's not the problem. Yes, she's not the problem. Your food is ready. Look, Esther. Wait, you just called me by my name. Look, I will have to tell you the truth. One day or the other. Whatever is the problem, please, say it out. We are meant for each other. Look, I've tried to show you, I've tried to give you some signals, but... No, no matter how heavy the word is, we still need to spill it out from the mouth. Esther, I want a divorce. I don't think this marriage is working. Wait, am I hearing you right at all? Can you just... I, I can't, it's like I'm not hearing you. Can you, can you repeat what you say? Look, Esther, let's stop deceiving ourselves. This marriage is not working. So let's go our separate ways. What? We just had a little... I'm finished. Stop saying that. No, I'm not finished. What is the problem? He told me he wants a divorce. A divorce? Yes. When he told you that, did you look at him very well? Yes. I looked straight into his eyes. In fact, he said it to my face. And, uh... Are you sure he was the one talking? That I know. That was not my husband. I know my husband loves me. He's not the one talking. Good. Then let's get your husband back. What is it? Are you alright? What is it? Mrs. Davids, are you alright? Let me call someone for assistance. I should not call. Are you here? Sorry. This is serious. What type of illness is this? Is your husband aware of this? No, not yet. Oh, then we need to get him informed on time. Not now. But why? 
I don't want him to love me back out of pity. <laughs> but this is serious. Sir, you know what? If you, if you want me to continue this session with you, I want us to keep this a secret. Able to consume this session again. I need to see my doctor. Oh, you really need to do that. Sorry. Yeah. Be a good boy at school. Don't make trouble. Remember, mommy loves you. Yes. In fact, I'm fed up. I don't think this is working. It was because I heard of, your of the testimonies of how marriages are being revived through your ministry. That was why I came here. But I don't think this is working for me. <laughs> testimonies were not magic. We got to the root of the problem first. And we laid the axe to it. And poof! The problem disappeared. Why don't you just pray with me? <laughs> wow. You don't have to join the wagons of prayer abusers. Prayer works when used appropriately. So, what will I do when I get to the court? It takes two to tango. It is his words against yours. He is ready for divorce. You are not ready. So, just go for this first hearing. And by the time you come back, we put our facts together. And before you know it, we are winning. You sound so sure. <laughs> yes. It is my job by his grace. Now, can you recall when all these things started? I guess it all started when it got this new job. A few months back. Okay. Or like the former one. This won't make him stay longer outside. Okay. This gives him the opportunity to stay much time with the secretary. And uh, probably missing his meals. Yes. He started rejecting my meals. Because the other woman shares her meal with him. And I stopped preparing his breakfast because he wasted. Giving him room to be more closer with the other woman and spending little time with you. Oh my God. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. So, it's all my fault. No. He also let loose his guard. It's just a problem of little distance. Little distance. Jesus. What am I going to do now? You win him back.
But how? You know all he needs in a woman. You are all he needs in a woman. You once won him, you can do it again. All we need is just pray along with you. You know what? I have an idea. Food is ready. Look, I'm not eating. And stop disturbing me. As you can see, I'm busy. I said I don't want you again. But you heard what the judge said at the hearing today. Look. I am not settling anything with you. You heard what the judge said. You're not giving any good reason for the divorce. Look, all I know is that I don't want you again. Davis, do you know you're talking to me, Hester? Look, I know who the heck I'm talking to. Are you serious about the divorce? Look, are you daft? Well, no problem. If that is what you want, I will give it to you. Joshua is starting the second term exam in a week, and I want to help him prepare for his normal routine. I don't want our challenge to impinge on him. Besides, within this one month, I want us to pretend to live in harmony. He will carry me from our bedroom to the living room every morning, just as you used to do before you got your present job. These are my own terms and conditions before I can look seriously into signing the decree of the solution for marriage for you. Come, my Sierra. Thanks, Esther. Yes, I like it. That's my baby. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, so how is it going? Oh, fine. As planned. I hope it works. Oh, right tools in right hand. It gets the works done. So, how about your health? Oh, I'm seeing the doctor. Oh, hope there's better improvement. I need to go. But your health? My business. Alright. Okay, have a nice day, sir. Okay. Are you ready? never complained for anything. Look at her face. I've been too far from this woman. My God. She looks more beautiful. Why do I want a divorce? Am I in my senses? No. She's trying to charm me. But she looks beautiful. 
Oh, sorry. What's happening? See, I can no longer take this. What is this now? <laughs> what is what? Oh, that way I need to. What do you expect me to say? Ah, I'm leaving and I'm not saying anything. See at the office tomorrow. I'm with you, Doctor. Look, Mrs. Davis, I was expecting you to stay for the operation when you came today. I said I'm not ready. When will you be ready? Is it when you kill yourself? I will not die, but live to declare the works of the Lord. It is well, Doctor. Jesus, please save my life. I must not die. That night is not part of the agreement.
Your temperature is high. Are you sure you're okay? But you need to see the doctor. Look, I know you to be very strong, but okay. Are you sure you'll be okay? Yes, I'll be alright. Thank you. Uh, you know what? Just relax. Hmm? I will quickly go to the office and inform them that uh, I have something to do. So, just relax. I'll be back to take you to the clinic. Hmm? Yes, Alright, just... Hmm? Okay, just relax. I've been too far from this woman. God, no, I can't be her back with this. After all, I can't stop loving her. Oh God, forgive me. Senola, um, I won't be staying long in the office today. Miss Senola, what's what, what's happening? Where are you going? Um, look, Annie, my wife is sick, and I need to take her to the hospital. I I, I still don't understand. What's what's the meaning of that? Oh, all right. Um, I am no more divorcing my wife. Is that supposed to be a joke or something? No, I mean, I am very sorry for hurting your feelings. I made a mistake by trying to start an extramarital affair with you. I am very sorry. You know, I just realized how far I am from my wife. Thank God. I'm very sorry for hurting your feelings. I'm very sorry.
feel that? What is it? Oh my god. Feel that? Oh my god. I love you from the day one I met you. My love for you has never diminished by 1% since then. Even when the devil tries to steal you from me, I still love you. We both prayed for a good job for you. After getting the job, you became too busy and gradually you hardly noticed my presence at home again. I knew he the very first day you started seeing that your secretary. Two of your junior staff told me and tried to warn me to leave you when they notice the deeper you've gone. But I can't leave my matrimonial home for a strange woman. It's the devil that has to leave. I started praying that God should restore my love back in your heart and separate you from the strange woman. It was, it was in the heat of, of this, this I, discovered I discovered I had fantastic cancer. cancer. I needed, I needed you, you, but you were too, too far to be still with me. Joshua, Joshua loves, loves you, and I love you too. too. And, and I will, I will always, always do. You hurt me, me, but I have forgiven you. you. If it if happens, that I won't hold you in trance again. Please, repent of your sins, so that we can meet again in eternity.
that is that's my school bus. Oh my god. And your food is not ready. And I've not done my own work. <sighs> okay. Let me talk to your school bus driver. Hmm? I have to take you to school myself. I want to delay to work. Don't worry. Hmm? What about mommy? Uh, she'll come home very soon. When you're back from school today, we'll go check on her together. Hmm? That the something is burning. Your food. Joshua, it burns. Cold. Please kill my wife. Can't give this a look. Can't do this alone. <laughs> My wife, this is too much. What's the meaning of this? Oh, your wife is okay. I'm only mad at you because I asked you to see the cashier last night before you leave. You did not. Doctor, I'm sorry, but you scared me in the first place. Look, the ATM in the front of your hospital that I was trying to use was faulty. That was the reason I couldn't pay up. See, I'm going to pay up immediately. Hmm? It's okay, it's okay. Um, um, you said she's, she's very fine, she's okay. She's the operation fine. was successful. It was successful. 
Oh, okay, um, you can go in and, and, and see her, okay? Take care. Thank you. You are a disaster. Just be okay. I need you back. I love you. The doctor said the operation was successful. Joshua, look at mommy. It's about your husband. And what about him? You see, <clears throat> your husband is having an extra mild car for you. Sorry, answer question. You're having oh. So he told you? Yep, he told me everything. And that's why I'm saying you're very, very sorry for any thoughts or things you have caused me. Thank you, Sarah. Look. I thought I apologized to you. So you don't want to stop until you destroy my marriage. You have failed. Get up. Get out! Get out! And Miss Enola. First thing tomorrow morning, I want to see your resignation letter on my table. <laughs> 